Good morning, Titans. Today is Friday, May 11th. I'm Alexander Hollison. And I'm Eric Padilla. On today's show, we will feature the groundbreaking ceremony on the Antelope Theater. And we'll meet senior Leontay Horton Moore, who will be attending Cal Poly on a football scholarship. Sounds great. Let's get into today's news. We were up early morning yesterday to attend the groundbreaking ceremony of the new theater. Reporter Smith Mahangos and Alex have the story. Everybody. Good morning, Titans. How are we doing out there? All right, this is a great day, and it's a long time coming. Having used to drive up here when it was just the portable that was building this high school, it now stands the place where we're going to have this amazing state-of-the-art performing arts facility here in Antelope for all the students in our community to use and to validate the amazing, thriving performing arts program here at Antelope High School. So this is going to be your new home. Seven, six, yeah. five. Finally a reality, We're breaking ground on our performing arts facility here at Antelope High School. It's a long time coming and I'm so excited that it's finally here, that our students in our performing arts programs will finally have their place where they can shine and showcase all of their talents. No more running around to different schools and recreating the gymnasium. This will be their home. I was here from the ground up with the construction. I watched the staff develop, I watched this performing arts program and the only way, and it has just been a, an ache in my heart that we couldn't have just a world-class facility for the kids in this community. And so to finally get it here is awesome. You know, um, it's the reason so many people work so hard on Measure D to get the funding so that we could get this done. Alexander Huddleston, Smith Mihangos, Time TV News. The Spring Band Show is tonight at Wood Creek High School at 6.30 p.m. Tickets will be sold for $5 at the door. The concert on the green is on Saturday and is free to enjoy. Also, they will feature the Antelope Band and Capital Pops. It will be here on campus. Also, don't worry about bringing snacks or food because they will have also food trucks. Cheer trials will be May 15th to the 18th. Trial packets are in the front office. Your books are on sale for $85. You can purchase yours at Student Services or online. Speaking of yearbook, the Titanium Yearbook and Titan Times, the magazine staffs, were recently awarded with na prestigious national awards in New York and San Francisco. Reporter Andrew Deardorff filed this story. I think a lot of people on campus don't realize that our publications are among the most successful in the country. Uh, we went to two conferences this year. We went to the Columbia Scholastic Press Association Conference in New York City in March. And both our Titan Times the Magazine and Titanium Yearbook both won gold crowns for their work the previous year. Um, we're talking about uh, schools in the single digits to win both of those awards. Um, the magazine has also been honored with a pacemaker from the National Scholastic Press Association back in November. And uh, we traveled to San Francisco uh, in April, just a couple weekends ago, and the yearbook also won a pacemaker. Uh, for example, uh, schools in the entire country uh, that have a pacemaker and a gold crown in both magazine and yearbook, there's only nine of those schools in the whole country. Uh, it's great that we're winning awards and uh, we all love that. I think it's more important that we're you know, creating a great product for our audience. But for me, even more importantly than that, is that we're creating a really professional experience for students here. And my hope is that I would like to get more students involved in the programs. And so we're kind of starting our recruiting season a little bit late right now because we're finishing up the 2018 yearbook. But um, to you folks out there, I just want to say don't be afraid to sign up in here. Um, I'm not going to lie, it is a lot of hard work, but it's also very rewarding and very fulfilling work. And it's also work that is going to help you in wherever you go in your futures. Uh, I might also add, uh, we eat a lot of pizza in here. Uh, we have a lot of fun. But very cool next year is we'll be culminating um, the next school year. Uh, our conference in April of 2019 is in Anaheim. So we'll be doing a big Disneyland trip uh, next year. So come see me in S206. Join publications. We're going to Disneyland. 
It's Teacher Appreciation Week. Reporter Dana Rakuba and I went to ask senior Marcel Gay, junior Alex Grobochuk, and freshman Andrew Grobochuk about their inspirational teachers. Uh, I'm going to say Mr. Winters because uh, Mr. Winters has been like more than just a teacher. He's been like my friend and like, you know, I can really talk to him like, you know, as a friend, not really like, you know, as a teacher in a way. My favorite teacher would be Miss Finney because I'm in dance and she has taught me a lot in dance and, you know, I haven't had a teacher that really, you know, like takes and actually connects with the students like other teachers do. Yeah. My favorite teacher would be Mr. Stinson, the engineering teacher, because when I came in as a freshman, you know, he took me like under his arms really, and, you know, showed me everything I needed to know about high school and all that. Really more as a role model than a teacher, and I just appreciated him ever since for that. So yeah. Eric Padilla, Dan Rakuba, Alex Ross, Titan TV News. Senior Leonte Horta Moore is leaving his nest in Antelope and going off to college in San Luis Obispo. I was able to spend a lot of time with Horta Moore this week and have this story. Senior Leonte Horta Moore is still in disbelief after receiving the text from wide receivers coach Jim Kraft of California Polytechnic State University on February 28th. Shockingly, with under two years of high school football experience, the text was notifying Huerta Moore that he had been awarded a scholarship to play football at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo. For me, I would have never, ever thought I'd ever be in a situation to go to a D1 college for football and play at Cal Poly, like, especially with my little football knowledge that I've only accumulated over like a year or a year and a half. It's, it's completely insane to me. According to the NCAA recruiting website, only about 2% of all high school athletes actually receive a sports scholarship. Head varsity football coach Matt Ray was not surprised about the news of Horton Moore's scholarship offer. And I know that he's going to work hard to continue to work on his craft, and I know he'll go there and compete, and, and, uh, and uh, he's, he'll be an asset for Cal Poly. Horton Moore came off of a season-ending injury, a major leg fracture that tore the ligaments holding his tibia and fibula together, causing him to miss his entire junior season of varsity football. Horton Moore returned his senior season to catch 25 passes for 391 yards and three touchdowns. Um, I feel like I did okay. There was a lot of room to improve. I feel like uh, when I got here, I didn't know anything about football and going into the MRP with Coach Ray and learning from him, it really helped put some perspective on football for me and helped me improve in a lot of ways. I mean, he did a great job within the time that he was here um, of really kind of grasping our base techniques and schemes and really understanding what we were asking of our football players. I think he's he's got uh, he's he's still pretty raw, so I think he's got a lot of, of a lot of uh, room to continue to grow, which is a good thing. It's a good thing because I think his his ceiling is still pretty high. Horton Moore will only be missed on the field, but also in the classroom. Activities director Kristen Patton will miss Horton Moore's leadership skills and the way he impacted the atmosphere and spirit on campus. I was very I was really excited this fall to get Leonte in my class. He brings a really positive spirit and energy. And so when he was in class, always dressing for spirit days, he even had an idea to work with Katie Carpenter on the type of hats that he wanted to see in the student store. And it was one of those things that I knew if Leonte designed it, people would kind of follow it because he had a tendency to do a very positive spirit following for us. So I really appreciate it. While Horta Moore will be missed among the Titan family, his mother, Stacy Williams, will also have to adjust. Horta Moore partnered with his mother in their event planning family business. You know, he is my business partner in, in our business, Emerald Event Productions, uh, where we do uh, wedding staffing. And um, so it's going to be really hard to replace him. Actually, I can't replace him because a lot of times clients prefer him over me. Don't tell him I said that. But um, they, um, they really bond with him, his personality, his presence. They love his smile. Um, they recognize him right off the back. Uh, and um, so it, it's going to be hard not having him with me. It's going to be a hole, a hole in our hearts, a hole in our house. Uh, it might be a little bit quieter without him there. Um, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but uh, it's, it's going to be hard. We've had the, we've created this job two years ago, and we've been doing it ever since. Honestly, it's amazing because being able to work so closely with your mom and have like a really good 
work environment relationship and like household relationship really builds on things because we'll be able to joke about work and then we'll go to work and we're working perfectly fine in sync and then we'll have like customers be like oh how do you guys know each other like how did you guys get into business together and like oh that's my mom we're like what that's your mom and so it's like really funny. Quartemore will exit high school in 21 days with high expectations and hopes of representing himself, his family, and Antelope in a positive light. You know, the expe expectations are just like all the rest of our guys that have left for, for college. You know, they're high. Not only does Leontay represent himself, his family represents our community, our school, and our football program when he, as he moves into uh, play at the next level. Um, I'm completely ecstatic though. I'm so excited for this thing. Like, it's going to be a great chapter in my life, and I'm prepared in every kind of way. And I've had a lot of people help me get there, and I'm glad and I'm thankful for them. I've had a lot of people that are still helping me get there. And I, it's, it's insane. And I'm completely, completely ready for this. Alexander Huddleston, Channel 5, Titan TV News. Congratulations to another winner of the Instagram Titan TV Question of the Week, freshman Isabella Costa. This week's question was, which anchor was dressed up as Darth Vader in last week's show? It was Alex. Remember, to, remember if you want a chance for your account to be aired on the show, Make sure to follow at China, Channel 5 Titan TV and get your Titan TV trivia. Well, that's all for this week's show. You have anything to say, Eric? Yo soy de rancho. What? <laughs> have a great weekend, Titans. <laughs>